What's up, YouTube? Video number three, series of decks to look out for. This last one is going to be uh, gadget or XYZ gadgets. And start off with Black Cluster Soldier, two of each gadget, three Valor, three Tour Guy. There's that card again. Sang in three Tengu and Global. Next, we'll have two MST, Reborn, Dark Hole, three Pot of Duality, Pot of Avarice, Book of Moon. Mind Control, Heavy Storm, Solemn, Two Warning, Torrential, Three Ultimate Offering, Two Bottomless, Two Starlight Road, Trap Death Shoot, and Mind Crush. Uh, basically, you know, this is just uh, an advantage engine, what gadgets always do. Um, you're getting a lot of normal summons, so that combo is really good with um, Ultimate Offering. You can really spam the field, especially during your opponent's turn. They attack, you drop a gadget. They run over the gadget while they're still in the battle phase. You can just dump out your gadgets, uh, summon your tour guide, get your singing out of your deck, and do all kinds of shenanigans. Um, on your turn, you can gadget search a gadget, search another gadget, uh, drop a Valor or Trishula, search another, use your other gadget you searched earlier, summon that, and then make XYZ. The XYZ spam with the Trishula is pretty hot. And average, do it all over again. Um, you kind of shoehorn in Black Luster Soldier since you have the three Valor, you have the three Utopia, so those are your lights, then you got the four darks there, uh, plus Steel Swarm Roach is a dark, Cataster, Librarian, they're all darks. <clears throat> One of the cool things I like about this deck is that with Glow Bulb you can go into the Nat Beast um, with any of the gadgets. Um, since we are running gadgets, I like to run Fortress Dragon because you never know. And another thing you probably notice about the deck is that it's 42 cards. And that's just because you don't want to clump your gadgets. You don't want to clump tour guides. And it's a pretty good ratio because you're going through your deck pretty fast. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, thinning out your deck so all you have left to draw are um, combo pieces like Ultimate Offerings, Dust Shoot, Mind Crush, your Starlight Road to protect your setup when you're about to go go off with um, ultimate offering you don't want to run into run into torrential you don't want to swing into mirror force you don't want them to storm your setup and that's what that's for um, let me know what you guys think this concludes the the series on decks to look watch out for and like I've said these aren't the best builds uh, these are just um, sort of the prototypes of builds uh, they're gonna be f um, far more advanced builds, more refined builds out there you'll see in um, upcoming tournaments such as Toronto and some of the larger regionals. Uh, but this will just give you an idea of what to look out for, some of the combos to look for. Um, so that way if you haven't faced any of these at your, re at your regional or at your locals, you know, you won't be caught by surprise when you're sitting across to somebody and they start doing these combos to you. You're like, okay, yeah, I saw Dubk's dad video. Um, I got an idea of what to expect, and I know how to side for this. I know how to play against this now. Uh, let me uh, let me know. Oh, one more thing before I go. Thumbs up this video or somewhere. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see non tour guide builds of these decks, because I've been working on. And they're my my notebook. Got. I've been working on lots of uh, builds and ideas for decks that are moderately competitive without tour guide and um, it's going to be starting a new series called uh, finding alternatives to all high-end cards uh, keep in mind that the real on, the only real high-end card we have right now is tour guide uh, there's really nothing else that's um, at the hundred plus dollar range um, solemn warning should be going down in, in value but even still, I mean, you should have already had your solemn warnings by now. It, it's been out for a year. I mean, come on, you need you, you gotta you gotta find that now. You shouldn't you shouldn't even be whining about being competitive if you don't have your warnings. But I have bills that don't run that. But I'm just saying, don't whine about not having high end cards and wanting to be competitive if you're not even gonna make the effort to buy stuff. I mean, you don't you don't. Um, 
you, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but don't whine about not being competitive. If you're not even making an effort to get some of the cards, you definitely got a freaking need. I can understand not going out and spent getting the tour guides because you waited to the last minute when they were too damn expensive. But things like warning cards, like effect Valor, everybody should have had a black luster soldier. If you've been playing this game for a few years. So I don't want to hear whining about that. I mean, if you went to the sneak peek, you got a free fucking Tengu. Pot of Duality has been reprinted. Um, Starlight Road's rare. Solemn Judgment's a common. So, you know, like I said, there's really no reason to whine about some of these cards. All right, WK Dad, Team DKF, remember to comment below about seeing some non-tour guide builds of uh, some competitive decks. And I'm out.